Hello everyone, welcome back. And today I would like to update a video on how to prepare the computer for the next jailbreak, which is the Checkran, the new jailbreak for iOS 13. And as we know so far, on the last video that I made yesterday, it doesn't work because for the Checkran jailbreak to work, we need a real Mac. And for this video, we are going to install the real Mac on the computer, so on the Windows PC. And now let's get back to the computer. On the computer, we need these two files, so the hack intos sierra zone.dmg and the trans Mac. For this software, it allows us to create a bootable on the USB, and I recommend that you need to use the 16 GB of USB. And now we need to plug it into the computer. And then you need to install TransMac. Click on Run. Click on Yes. And after install, you need to run TransMac. And then make sure your USB is connected to the computer. And now click on Run. And then you need to choose the USB that you have plugged in. And this one, it is my USB. And then you can right click on it. And click on Restore with this image and click on yes click on yes again and then you need to pick the this image so you can choose it and the file is on the desktop here so you can select it and then click on open and finally click on ok but for me I have already created so I don't need to click on ok and then you need to reboot your computer so click on restart And then as long as your computer turn to black screen, you need to press on the escape key. And for this one to work, it may different depend on the computer that you have. And for me, I have HP. So I just press on the escape key and then it can go to F9. So you need to go to boot device option. So press on F9. And then you can use the up and down key to go to the flash drive here and then click on enter. And then you will see hack into Sierra zone. And then you can type minus V. And then you can enter to go to the installation. And if you see this, don't worry about it. It may take some time. And then it will go into the installation screen. And now it is a good sign. You see the Apollo logo here. Now we are on the setup screen, so we can click on continue here. And then on the top here, you can see the utility, so you can click on it and then go to terminal. And on the terminal, you need to change the date. If you don't change it, so the installation will be failed. And now you need to change the date, so you can type date space. And then you can give it the date. So I'm gonna go to 0924 and o o o o and then one and nine and then you can press on enter and now it is done we can quit the terminal and now we can go back to utility again and then click on this utility so we need to erase the partition and for this one i recommend you to erase the whole hard drive so before you before you go into the process, make sure you back up all of, all of your data from your computer. And so we need to erase everything on the storage here. So you can click on erase. So, and then you can choose the macOS journal. And for the scheme, you can go to get partition map. And then you can give it a name. So I'm going to go to high Sierra. And then you can click on erase. And now it is done. So you can close the this utility and then click on continue. Click on continue again. Click on agree. And now you can select the disk that you have just erased. And then click on customize. So you have some of the driver that you need to install. So you can check as I have here. So I can check on Clover standard and on the graphic so graphic make sure they enable
and for the and then for the fake PC ID you can check on Intel HD if you have so my computer is Intel HD graphics so I can check on it and then I can check on the Wi-Fi here and finally click on accept and then you can click on continue and now you have to wait for the installation it does take some time so you can be patient and wait for it and then if you see this error after install the mac os you don't have to worry about it so just simply click on restart button and now after install you will see this again and make sure that the usb is still connected and otherwise you will not you will not boot into this page so make sure your usb is still connected to your computer and now we don't go to this one so we have already installed it so we can go to the second partition that we have just installed and restart and then now we can click on enter and now we boot to the setup screen as you can see And now you can choose the country, so I'm going to go to United States and then click continue and choose the keyboard, so I'm going to go to US and then click on continue again and you need to connect to the Wi-Fi and then give it a password and then click on continue and then click on continue again click on continue and click on don't use and we can set up the Apple ID letter so don't sign in click on continue and then skip click on agree click on agree again and give it a name so I'm gonna go to iApple Pro and password I'm gonna go to 123 the simple one and then click on continue and then you can choose your time zone and then click on continue and click on continue again and click on continue and now you are setting up your Mac and you can wait for the, the desktop to pop up and now we are in the desktop of High Sierra as you can see and now everything is working fine and finally thank you for watching I hope you like this video and if you have any question you can comment down below and I will see you in the next one.